this is our testing phase for our GVRA hydraulic valve assembly. Um, there's a couple things you're going to need before you get started. You're going to need a hydraulic pump, a uh, two-inch spander wrench, three-inch spander wrench, and some kind of bubble test solution so you can test for leaks. Uh, first thing you want to do, make sure all your connections are tight. Two inches nice and tight. Uh, your three-inch connection nice and tight there. Okay, from here you can start pumping your hydraulic valve. You're going to pump it up to about 1,000 psi. Okay. Okay, right there. Uh, from there, you can apply a little bit of pressure. Uh, you're going to apply 30 psi. Thirty-three there. Once you get there, you want to hold it. At this point, you want to add your bubble solution to all the seams uh, right underneath here at the three-inch nut. Uh, also, at your two-inch cap, and you're looking for bubbles. Any continuous bubbles is considered a leak. Uh, also, inside this window, there's seals in there. You want to check in there. Make sure you don't see no leaks, any visible leaks. See nothing there. Make sure your indicator uh, has come up. That indicates the pressure is still holding. Uh, make sure you still have pressure, 1,000 psi. And if that is all clear, that means the test passed. And at this point, your GVR hydraulic valve has passed the test.